what is going on guys in this video i'm going to go over the best software i think you need to use for your amazon fba business okay so Amazon FBA is super competitive nowadays, guys, and you need to have the right software in place. Now, I'm not talking about uh, how to do product research. I'm talking about the more analytical things you need to do. And um, just these, th th there is software out there that is really going to help you. And the one I'm talking today about is Seller Board. Okay, it is the cheapest out there. It is approved by Amazon, okay? So that means Amazon actually recommends this software. And that is huge, guys. So they are not some, um, they've been around a long time and they really are worth checking out, okay? So I'm just gonna take you through exactly what they do and why you should be using this in your business, okay? And how it has actually helped me um, to manage different parts of my business, okay? So I'm just gonna show you first of all, okay, so this is Sellerboard, as you can see, it's sellerboard.com, and um, it is from $15 per month. So the $15, guys, I know I used to use spreadsheets to track my profits, downloading reports, and um, every single day, you know, I used to have a VA doing it. Now I, now I came across Sellerboard, and it is the cheapest out of all the software. It's like $15 a month, that's only around $170 a year, guys. It is absolutely nothing, okay? So we can just come over here to the pricing. I'm just gonna go through with you. As you can see, the standard is $15 per month. That's up to 3,000 orders. So unless you're making over 3,000 orders per month, then you'd wanna go up to professional. And by the time you're, you're making over 3,000 orders, this will cost absolutely nothing anyway. So it's basically nearly for free, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna take you inside Sellerboard now and show you the different features and how it can benefit your Amazon business, okay? So right now you can see, you click into the dashboard, I'm just gonna go through everything step by step and how it can help you, okay? So this account we have here, we use this for testing different products, right? Um, so you can see here, it has all different tabs. This is basically to track your profits, track your advertising costs, how many sales you did, how many units you put out, and just all the different numbers, okay? So you can see here in the first file, it's gonna to show today, it's gonna to show the amount of sales, yesterday and this month, and it will actually give you a forecast of what it, what it thinks your profit is going to be, okay? So you can actually click into more here. We'll go into um, this month here and it shows exactly how many sales we got. We can break down the sales. It's gonna show you the PPC and the organic sales, okay? So this is huge, guys. Um, you can see how many units it sold for organically and PPC. It's gonna show you the promo codes, how much was deducted out of that. Um, Amazon fees, refund costs. So it's, it's this is really powerful, guys, because constantly, you know, you need to know when people are sending their product back, you need to know exactly, um, you know, what percentage of, of your sales is actually correct. As in like, you can see here, it comes down to refunds with 6%, okay? So if we sent out 100 products, six, per, six of those products got sent back, okay? Because if you're tracking it and you're not tracking refunds, it's not as accurate. Um, and either is your stock, it's just, it's, it's just so handy having it all in the one place, guys, okay? So you can see here, it shows you the margin and the return of investment, okay? So you can actually, there's all different tabs to play around. It can show you the different periods. It'll show you uh, if you have multiple products. It'll show you the marketplaces you can go into. And you can just see if you wanna change it up and you wanna see a chart, it's gonna show you um, on what months. You can go monthly or you can go a custom range and it's gonna show you exactly like, you can see here the net profit that was minus 3,221. Um, and then like previously this back in 2020, net profit 2,000. And it's just gonna show you, as I said, this is just for testing guys, this account. Um, you know, we like to test products, but you can see here all the different things it'll say down here, okay? So you can see the unit sold was 149, um, sales 3,000, and the return of investment was 16%. It's also gonna show your BSR, and that is an up-to-date, um, your best seller's rank, right? You can come down here into more, and it's gonna show you all the different numbers you need to be tracking guys okay so it's just super simple and um, like it's only 15 dollars you know 
and like my favorite part about this is they only brought this feature in okay so i don't know if any of you are aware but right now if you went to your orders on seller central you can actually review to a uh, review uh, request to review um which basically means you can request your customers to give you a review okay so it is annoying if you are getting a lot of orders coming in every day or every week and trying to track how to do this but right now all you do from this platform is you can actually hook it up through an api so they do it automatically okay so you can see here with the auto responder you can automatically trigger request a review and um, to message to your customers okay so very powerful stuff just going to save you time guys you know and um, and what do you do so you put in the name and um, you want to click that to active and you can see it's automatically saying exclude repeat customers which makes sense because they've either already reviewed or they don't want to review so you don't want to be sending out the same template or you can you can have a custom um you can have a custom made email or you can just use the the standard one okay for the time being so you don't want to send out the same emails to a customer that keeps buying okay they might get annoyed and they might actually say that in the review so you want to leave this probably at exclude repeat customers you can come down here and you can check do you want it to apply to uh, all products or different selected or maybe a campaign to all products except selected so you want to separate some products you do not want to be doing that okay so you can see here it says the message templates you can leave it at amazon standard review template or you can do a custom uh, email yourself okay so what i'd recommend just start off just start off with amazon standard review it's got pretty good results for me like it's only it's still very small but you're still going to get them extra reviews guys okay so what you need to do is you need to connect your sp and um, your api so it's a seller partner api and um, so that just shows you once again like amazon really is backing this company you know and um, so yeah so what it what, what else was i saying you can come over so that's the profits you're tracking and um, you can come over to the autoresponder and there's a number of things if we just go back profit and loss this is going to give you for the whole year and um, february to february whatever date it is it's going to track everything for you like this is it's it's really is key to um tracking your profits and seeing where you're at you know so we can actually come back and it says what's this money back okay so this is if you are owed any reimbursements for damaged goods and um, these guys are going to get that for you they're going to contact seller support and uh, they're going to do all this for you which is huge because these this is just basically saving you time guys right and um, what we can do also is alerts okay so this feature i really really like so let me just show you exactly what you can get alerts for and um, you can actually hook this up to your email and then as you know you can just get in, get notified straight away so if you're out and about and next minute you're losing the buy box for whatever reason and um, you know if something's changed like the amount of different things right dimensions change listings change uh, listing title change that can mean potential hijackers uh, main image change right this is going to let you know if there's any hijackers coming on your listing which you would need it which is an emergency situation you know um so it, that is pretty good yeah the boy the, the boy box loss that's a pretty good one and um, negative merchant feedback like all these things you need to act fairly fast and unless you have a va checking this it's or yourself every day you know what to check all this it's um you know you shouldn't really because like you have to invest in your business guys and this is just one other way of doing it okay so you can click and it's going to show you all the products you can get alerts on and um, what else you can do you can actually hook up your ebay and your shopify accounts if you are running them also right so that is pretty much it if i if i'm trying to let me see like that is the main thing so the main thing i use it for is the profits tracking my profits and um, tracking the numbers and basically getting that automatic review to request button like that's that just saves you so much time um, and because if you were in seller central you know sometimes you click in and if the, you've already requested to review it won't let you do it again and it's just very time consuming guys you know and um, so we can come back here and it's going to show you also like when you should stock up you know and um, 
it'll show you reserved, it'll show you sent to FBA, it's gonna show you in real time exactly, like, well, close enough, like, like as in what's reserved, what's not, what's getting sent to FBA, uh, when you should, um, like the, how many units you should probably restock with, okay? So that's very good for anyone that has um, any amount of SKUs, really, you need to know um, the recommended quantity for reordering, right? Um, and that is pretty much it, guys, but I will let you guys check this out. Um, I came across these guys a few months ago, so I thought I'd just do a video. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any comments down uh, in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer uh, that and I will leave a link in the description for these guys and um, I'm actually going to contact them and see if I can actually get a discount for you guys. So, um, yeah, and that is pretty much it. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, just let me down in the comment section and uh, thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.